Will people continue to break world records or have we reached the plateau of human performance? This is what we are going to explore in this video. We explore two approaches to find the answer, using previous data and analyzing human capability. Let us look at the data for 100 meter sprint and plot it. This is the plot of all the 100 meter records until today. X axis represents the year of the record and Y axis is the time taken to complete the 100 meter sprint. Let us fit a quadratic curve in here. Let's extend this curve. This curve predicts that the lowest a human can ever get is 9.26 seconds and that we will be able to achieve it in 2151. Well, that definitely looks interesting but how far is it true? Let's go 15 years back into 1999 and look at the stats. Let's fit a quadratic curve again. This curve estimates that the lowest we can ever go is 9.74 seconds in 2042. But the present record of 9.58 seconds beats this limit by far. This shows that our predictions are not at all credible. But one thing we can definitely say is that the records don't seem to flatten out yet. Second approach, by analyzing human capability. A person's running cycle is divided into two parts, foot is in air and foot is on ground. According to research, any person running at his top speed takes the same amount of time to reposition his legs. In other words, the rate at which a champion runner takes steps is same as that of a normal person and this is also pretty close to our biological limit. But the difference in speeds comes due to the magnitude of force that the foot exerts on the ground. The person who can exert more force on the ground can run faster. So if we can somehow estimate the maximum force a person can push the ground with, we can find the maximum speed at which he can run. So yeah, the problem is solved. But wait, can we actually calculate the maximum amount of force a person can exert on the ground? Scientists say that this is a very complicated problem and that we know very little about what contributes to that force. We know that champion sprinters such as Usain Bolt can exert a force of about 2.5 times their body weight. But what is the maximum? Is it 3 times, is it 5 times or 10 times the body weight? We don't know. And sadly, we have similar problems analyzing most of the other athletic sports too. So will people continue to break the world records? This is a topic still under research. Right now, the only way to find out if a runner will break the existing record is to sit and watch. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me as it took me more than 50 hours to prepare, make and publish what you're seeing on the screen right now. With this, I would also like to mention that I am making YouTube my full time career. So it would be awesome if you could click the like button and share this video with your friends on Facebook or followers on Twitter.